Today we're going to be doing finishing up the top section of this trail. The bit here, people often drag their brake through it, so we've got a couple of rocks. We're going to put those in just to arm it up a bit better. Um, we're going to build up the berm after it a little bit. The berm after that's going to be built up a bit as well. Take off after that's going to be beefed up a little bit. Um, we're going to be just polishing up this track basically, getting it all running um, during the winter so, and summer. It's solid. So, yeah. So a little bit later on, we have finished the berm above. We have worked a little bit on this berm. I think it, it runs okay for now, but maybe we'll come back to that one at some point. And we've worked on this step down here, which is now quite a bit bigger than it was before. So at the bottom of that step down, there's a long run in, and then you have this takeoff, which boosts you over to there, right? Huh? Hello, I'm just doing a walkthrough. Would you like to explain what we're doing to the landing? Uh, bringing it closer and getting the angle right. So when you land in a hip, you get pushed into the track. Yeah. So essentially, people will be landing straight and then aiming kind of well, no, directly towards this tree. One, one person has. A couple, couple of people. We, we've seen it on a couple of people's videos. Only Lance And Albie. But he's fast. What, you, you call it everyone who does it wrong. An yeah, idiot. Because I've done it right. Because your trail building wasn't slightly off or it no, wasn't there. You should have been... Everyone else's fault, not the trail builder's fault, right? But I personally feel like we're slightly accountable for that. So <laughs> we're going to adjust this landing so that it points you slightly more to the side of that tree there. And um, maybe we'll build something up to catch you after that. We're going to go around that tree and then we're going to work out what we want to do from there. Roll the time now. So we've worked on the two berms and the step, uh, step down up there. You come down from the step down, hit this berm, hit this takeoff, which James has reshaped and made a little bit wider and longer, I believe. So yeah, and we've brung the landing closer um, and made it a little bit more 
family friendly essentially. So the gap is there to there. It used to be up to basically like there. Um, yeah, so now it's like two bike lengths to the sweet spot, which is pretty reasonable for a jump of its size and speed. And then the landing is also now a bit less sketchy. You're saying it's sketchy now or what's sketchy? It was sketchy, it's less sketchy, sketchy now. Because yeah. uh, we banked it slightly that way to catch you before the tree. And then obviously a little burn that way as well. So yeah, that's the improvements. So James and I will be about to test ride um, this new landing and take off. James hasn't ridden in a little while. And he's borrowing a bike and a helmet. So it should be interesting. Yeah, they're going. But coming along here, we need to bench this out because this bit here is off canter. And then from there, we have to decide whether or not we are going up or if we're going across or if we're going down slightly. Um, yeah, we have a couple of decisions to make here, so we'll let you know what we come up with. Okay, so it's a little bit later and we're gonna head back home. But essentially we have completed the run out. Yeah, we have completed the run out and the start of a takeoff. And the idea is, is to have a whale tail feature here. So we're gonna have 